We are glad you have chosen to join us for Global Crusades with Kumui. On GCK Daily, we share content that brings freedom and total life change. Dr. Kumui is an international pastor, teacher, and writer who has brought hope to many over the past 50 years. God has used his messages to encourage and inspire people of all ages. We hope that today's message touches your heart and your life specifically. You know, I want you to envision this. A group of friends gather with their lawn chairs pointed towards the west. They're excited and expectant for the display to begin. Eager for some free entertainment, they decided to go to the beach to watch the sunset over the gulf. The sound of waves hitting the beach and the sound of seagulls can be heard all around them. Perhaps this has been you at some point in your life, watching a beautiful sunrise or sunset. In order to really experience this phenomenon in all its glory, a person has to be outside. Similarly, for us as humans to experience the healing power of Jesus, we need to open our hearts and our minds to receive his transformative work in our lives. What are you asking Jesus to do in your life today? Just as my friends were expecting a beautiful sunset and brought their chairs to the show, we can bring our pains and our past and our problems to the office of the always on call physician, Jesus Christ. He has paid the ultimate price to give you freedom and that in abundance. Freedom, which is a free gift, is available for you today. You see the children of Israel, they came out of the land of bondage. They've been there for centuries. They've been there for many years and they came out it so happened that their corruption began to manifest and then the consequence of that corruption and then eventually they came and they confessed before the Lord. You know, if you're going to have this healing, total healing, heaven sent healing, healing from the cross, it begins with confession. You know, your doctor cannot do much until you say, here is my problem, here is my challenge, here is why I'm having what I'm having. If you keep quiet and say, I'm all right, when you are not all right, I feel good when you're feeling the pain, I'm okay when you are not okay, the doctor will not be able to do anything, but when you come and you say, here is my challenge, here is my problem, and then you confess that corruption of the heart and the consequence of that corruption. Then you go to the next step, healing will come. Salvation will come. Deliverance will come. A change, a mighty change, a transformation will come in your life. Jesus welcomes us to be healed by him. For he says he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds in Psalm 147 verse 3. The closer we move towards knowing and becoming like Jesus, the greater the change we will experience in our very lives. Yes, a Savior. Jesus is Savior. But he's also the healer. And as we bring those two words together, is the healing Savior. And he provided that and procured that for you on the cross of Calvary because of his compassion, not your marriage, not what you have done, but your tears forever flow. And your zeal, no respite, no. All these for sin cannot atone. He, the Savior, and he alone must save. And when you come and you say nothing in my hand, I bring simply to the cross, I cling. When you organize yourself and you reorientate yourself and you understand no matter who you are, no matter what you have done, all that cannot bring salvation to you or forgiveness to you or redemption to you. When you realize no matter how good supposedly you are, how nice supposedly you are, how religious supposedly you are, how self-righteous supposedly you are, when you push all that aside and you say simply to his cross, 
I plead forgiveness will come. Combustion will come. A new life will come unto you. When you are weak and you become strong, combustion. When you are guilty and then you are free from guilt, that's combustion. When you are powerless and you become powerful, that's combustion. When you are in the dark, in darkness, and then the Lord transforms your life and you come to the light, that's combustion. When you are going on the wrong road, that will lead you to eternal perdition. And you turn around and the grace of God lifts you up. And then you come to the right road. The road that leads to life eternal. That's conversion when you are a sinner. And now the Lord turns you around and changes your life. And you become a safe soul, a righteous soul. And it starts from within. That's conversion. You, by the grace of God... In the mercy of God, with the compassion of the Lord, as you do the right thing, and you realize it's not God that wants you to suffer, it's not God that wants you to remain in sin, it's not God that wants you to keep on, you know, with all those some printable things in your life. It's your fault. Stop blaming God. That's what he did. Stop blaming Moses. That's what he did. Stop blaming man. That's what he did. Come and say, it's my fault. I allowed this and that and that other thing to make me go the wrong way. I am at fault. I am guilty. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Give me a good amen to that. Amen. He that covereth his sin shall not prosper, but he who forsakes, confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. Looks like mercy is coming your way. Looks like compassion is coming your way. Looks like a turning around is coming your way. When you come to the Lord and you confess and you forsake and you say, I have done what I shouldn't have done. I have said what I shouldn't have said. I've gone the direction I shouldn't have gone. I return and I come to the Lord. The mercy of God and the compassion of the Lord and the salvation of God will come upon your life even tonight in Jesus' name. Tell him, O oh Lord, I believe and I accept you are my Lord and my Savior. By my faith, by my confession, I touch you now. Let your saving virtue flow into my life. Forgive me Grant me peace in my heart, in my spirit. Grant me the strengthening virtue to go and sin no more. And now begin to live in newness of life. Tell him, believe that small grain of faith that you have. Say, yes, Lord, I believe. By my will, I've surrendered myself to you. And you said, whosoever comes to you, you will in no wise cast off. You have accepted me. Thank you, Lord. I have the peace. I have the forgiveness. I have the salvation. Thank you, Lord. It's done. I pray for you now, Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for everyone who has heard, who has come, and who is receiving your forgiveness and peace right now. Forgive them in Jesus' name. Let your salvation come to every heart, here, there, online, Every country, everywhere, Lord, you're no respecter of persons. 
save them, forgive them, give them your peace now in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. We know you have answered. It is done. You have saved them. They have faith in you. You have forgiven them. Confirm it in every heart in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Are you ready? Miracle. Healing. Deliverance. Remember, it says, as many as looked on that brazen serpent, everyone was healed and jesus is greater than that brazen serpent as it happened to them at that time it will happen to you say i believe i believe it will happen if your eyes are blind get ready when you hear the final amen your blind eyes must open if you are lame, anything wrong with you, as we pray now, and you believe in that name, healing, deliverance, redemption, all the blessings of heaven that you need, everything will come. Testimony in your mouth. Who will give testimony? Raise up your hand and touch the place where you have the problem. <clears throat> Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for the promise you have given us. We thank you for the assurance you have given us. We thank you, Lord, for the confidence, present confidence that we have, that we look unto Jesus and we believe in the Lord Jesus, our substitute, the final sacrifice, our healer, our redeemer, deliverer. We know. You are going to heal everyone that believes in you for healing. Therefore, Lord, we pray now you touch everyone and bring your miracle healing deliverance to them in Jesus' name. Those blind eyes, I command you be opened now in Jesus' name. Deaf ears, I command you be opened in Jesus' name. All that tumor, all that swelling in your body come out in Jesus' name. Goiter, whatever, you're not uh, supposed to be there. I command you come out in Jesus' name. Cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. Ulcer, be healed in Jesus' name. Any eternal problem there, any pain there, I pray the hand of the Lord will touch you now be healed in Jesus name and I pray Lord that everything your people are asking you over here over there anywhere we're congregated, congregated together and those online manifest your power manifest your healing manifest your deliverance and set everyone free now in Jesus name confirm your miracle confirm the healing confirm the deliverance lord as we now say the final amen let there be a performance a manifestation thank you lord thank you lord it is done it is done it is done in jesus name we pray been walking the same old road for miles and miles if you've been hearing the same old voice tell the same old lies if you're trying to feel the same old holes inside there's a better life there's a better life if you got pain he's a pain taker if you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom, a savior, he's a prison shaking savior. He's got chains, he's a chain breaker. Oh, yeah. 
God does indeed have a plan for your life. And the reign of laughter, love and joy will flirt your life. Thanks for being part of GCK Daily. We post new videos right here on a regular basis to keep you strengthened in your faith. When you share and subscribe to our channel, it helps to spread the life-saving message across the globe. Please let us know how you've been impacted by our ministry in the comments section below. Keep in touch with us on all our social media platforms, and we look forward to connecting with you as you join us from across the globe at the next Global Crusade. Thank you. Thank you.